Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wibs Web. I'm Bill Jones. Now, I have never actually received an email from Gladys Spong of Thartington in Slopshire because she's fictitious. But if I did, it would probably say something like this. Dearest gorgeous Bill. I noticed that more and more video makers on YouTube are watermarking their videos. Info thingy. What's a watermark? It's basically a name or a little logo and it usually lives in one of the corners of your video screen and that way if anybody tries to steal your video footage without your consent or even your knowledge well your name's always there you always get a the credit they know where it's come from <coughs> simple is it possible to do this using only Windows Movie Maker as my editor PS you really are gorgeous. Well, Gladys, probably not. No, sorry. Unless. To create a video watermark, you would normally need an editor that can handle keyframes. Unfortunately, Windows Movie Maker is quite a basic bit of kit and can't do this. However, we can achieve much the same effect with a simple cheat. And here's how. We're going to fiddle with the subtitle facility so we can use it as a watermark. First, open the video you want to watermark in Windows Movie Maker and drag it down to the timeline. Now click on the Make Titles or Credits button. Then choose Title on Selected Clip and then type in your name or channel name or whatever word you're going to use as your logo. You'll see it appear on the screen. Next, click on Change Title Animation. At the top of the list you will see Titles One Line. This is the group we need. Look for Subtitles. Click on this and you will see your text drop to the bottom of the screen. Next, click on Change Text Fonts and Colour. And choose a fancy font, something that will make your logo look cool. I'll go for, let me see, ah oh yeah, Baby Cruffy. Next. Change the text alignment. You can choose right or left. I'm going to choose the left alignment, which packs it down in this corner. And I'll bring the size down a tad as well, so it's not too intrusive. Over here, you can change the text color to anything you want, but I'm going to leave it white. Now use this slider to bump up the transparency to about 35-ish, which makes it semi-see-through. Now you're nearly done, so click on the Done tab and check the timeline. See this little box here? That's your subtitle, but if you play it, you will notice that it doesn't last very long. About half a second and it's gone. So to turn it into a proper watermark, click on the subtitle box and two little triangles form at each end. If you place your cursor over the right triangle, two little red arrows appear. So just click on this and drag it for the entire length of your video. And now when you play the video, you will see that your logo remains there throughout the entire film. Congratulations! You have just watermarked your video using nothing more than Windows Movie Maker. So, there you go. That is how you watermark your videos using nothing more than Windows Movie Maker. Pretty good tip, eh? Well, if you like this tip and you want more tips like this, then subscribe. I mean, the button's here somewhere. You've got to look for it. I have to do everything for you.